In today's video, Little Pope and Big Pope will be reviewing and building the Hawk Tempest Mark V. So let's have a look inside the box. What we got? Standard Airfix box? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with one of the uh, like, bag, which the, someone's already like, been in by the look of it. Yeah, like with one of the five tokens, yeah. yeah. Yep. The kit box comes in already opened a little bit. What we got? We got the top main top wings. Yep. Yeah. And then the main bottom wings. Yep, yeah, we got some recess panels. A rudder. Yeah, what else we got? Two wheel options. Control stick, rear wheel. Pilot. Yeah, two wheel options, some wheels or some wheels. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, got two wheel options. Why have we got that? Well we can find that. Oh, they say Dunlop. We got two different nose cones, a pointy and a round one. The one we're doing has the pointy nose cone, so yeah. Are we doing the box art one? Yeah. The yellow nose spinner. Yeah. Oh, okay. B. I think it says. The details are right. It needs. What do you think? I think we should trumpet some riveting on it, Liz. What mm -hmm. do you think? It's got the same kind of pillar bits as the uh, um, Typhoon they did, because I soon see in the instruction manual at the beginning. You had this kind of piece in the typhoon, which yeah, the radiator. Yeah, which had that bit going on through there. But it's not a piece you have to put them together to make the piece. Yeah, because that would slide onto that bit. And then eventually, oh, that's me. yeah, we're doing. Wheels down. Wheels down, yeah. Yeah, wheels down. Yeah, because see, this is what the typhoon had this, what you have to put together. We're doing this bit here, so yeah. The fair is, this is a bit more basic than typhoon, that had more detail, more bits mm -hmm. in it. Because you can have the gum yeah, got doors open. This, the back bit part is different as well, I'm not sure. Yeah, why. I don't know. I think because it's inside of it would be different. Sorry. Yeah. And then you got the option for camera key open and camera key close. Oh, what do you want? Open? Mm, yeah, let's do like should we Yeah, let's do open. open, right. open. And then we've got oh. that's the markers we're gonna do, we're gonna do that version like that. Yeah. Oh, did you show decals? Yep. Yeah. Where's your decals? Yeah. You're gonna try and paint the DJ. Yeah, what we're gonna do we, we're gonna do the DJ stripes so we're gonna spray them. Yeah, and you're going to spray the band. Yeah, we'll spray the band because I'm sure it should be different colours of that anyway. But I think we should put some riveting all around the wings, all underneath, and all on top of the wings, and around the fuselage. So it means we can only build the wings together and the fuselage together. Yeah, because of it. And we'll probably prime it and then rivet it. Kind of more rivets there, but here. Yeah, that don't matter. You can kind of see them. They're a bit big for it. But for a 172 kit, it's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Quite kind of thick, we'll see how it fits. Let's get thick building. plastic with the actual yeah. plastic pack. Should we get building? Yeah, so it comes with clear fuel tanks. And then you've got the camera key parts. That's it. Whether Airpix are going to release another Tempest later on for the tanks, or it's just an extra and they haven't shown it, I don't know. I suppose you could have them on it, but it's probably not worth it with the D-Day stripes leave them off mm -hmm. it for the minute. 